Often we find the most incredible of blessings in the most unexpected places. In John chapter 11, Jesus is beside the grave of his loved friend, Lazarus. Mary and Martha are there, and many other Jews are there who are grieving over the loss of this very good man. In fact, the Jews say, in consolation to some degree to Mary and Martha, but also in confusion about everything that's happened, when Jesus shows up, could not this man who have opened the eyes of the blind prevented this man from dying? And then Jesus said, let's, let's go specifically to the grave. And when he gets there, he says, roll back the stone, open the grave. Martha immediately responds by saying, oh no, Lord, we, we cannot do that. He's been dead four days. There'll be a stench. There'll be an odor. As the King James Version says, he stinketh. Jesus then responds to her with these incredible words. Did I not say to you that if you would believe that you would see the glory of God? You see, this is where the human mind and human reasoning and human thinking cannot exactly equate and wrap itself around the divine mind and divine thinking and divine reasoning. Because the human mind says, we can't do this. This is a terrible situation. It's a bad situation. Whereas the divine mind says, this is a situation that will cause the glory of God to be displayed. Oftentimes in our lives, we have situations in which things do not go the way we think they ought to go. They go completely unexpected from what we think they should, and they go in a very bad direction sometimes. They stink. They stink. And it is those times when God intervenes, when God works in our life, and we see his glory. It's an incredible thought, and we have to adapt ourselves and adjust ourselves to when we get to those points when things are not going the way we think they ought to go and things are not happening the way we think they ought to happen. Expect the glory of God. Jesus prayed, and then Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. And the text goes on to tell us that after that point, many Jews believed. You see, before that, it says they wondered why he didn't do something about it. Now they believe. You don't expect to find faith at the graveside. That's where you find grief and sorrow and heaviness of heart. But these people found faith. And in those dark places, those difficult times, let's find faith.